this is Alim Vargato from uh, Trimax Solutions and in this video I will share with you one of the most powerful but least known techniques for creating robust reliable models using the extrude boss command one of the most basic commands in SOLIDWORKS so first of all let's create a simple solid body I'm gonna start on the top plane and um, just gonna use a rectangle add a couple of dimensions you can see I'm using the shortcut toolbar to do most of my work directly in the graphic area but this is not what the tip is all about uh, let's extrude this about two inches and finally we have a face onto which I can sketch something so let me create another sketch here let's go normal too so you guys can see what I'm doing um, and imagine I would like to, to to extrude maybe half of this face up there are a couple of ways to do that you can also use the line command you can run convert uh, entities selecting the edges or selecting the face and then do some trimming so let's say I'm creating the rectangle this way right now if I try to extrude it it's gonna work of course so let's say one inch the problem is this is not a reliable model it's not a robust model if I change the sketch the original sketch um, let's say this is gonna turn to construction geometry and I'm just gonna have an arc here and I can see I'm a big fan of transition between line and arcs What's happening right now is that I'm getting an error. The original edge is, is dangling, uh, is no longer there, so the, the sketch line is dangling. So let me delete this and let's try to use a different technique. Just gonna draw a sketch containing just one line. Okay, so let's go normal to again, and just draw one line. So let's say from here to there. Now, when I'm extruding this, notice I'm getting a, a message. SOLIDWORKS offers to close the sketch using the model edges. This is actually a little bit um, misleading. Uh, it says using model edges, but you're gonna find out that it's actually using convert the whole, it's, it's gonna convert the whole face to uh, sketch entities. And then it's going to use this line to trim the face. And you're going to see in a moment why that happens. You can always reverse the direction. I'm going to say yes to that. And let's extrude also one inch, right? So you can see I'm going one inch. So let's go and accept the, the change. Now, if I'm going to this sketch, right? I did it again. Sorry, I did the sketch. Right, so I did the sketch. And let's go normal too. Let's delete this circle completely and draw something crazy not even gonna fully define it I'm just gonna leave it like that let's see what happens you can see how everything updated nicely so remember you can simply draw a contours by using a line or a number of lines that are going through the face and the edge the other edges can be added automatically by SOLIDWORKS what happens really in reality is exactly what I mentioned earlier. It's going to convert the whole face to uh, sketch entity. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to create a sketch here. I'm going to do manually this time, this operation. I'm going to notice the whole face gets selected. I'm going to run convert entities. And then uh, maybe I'm going to pick up this relation. Just going to delete it so I can move this away. Uh, let's let's put it right in the center of this uh, edge and make this vertical But you see how much work I had to do instead of asking SOLIDWORKS to complete the whole work, right? So now this is Selected I'm gonna extrude it And now I'm gonna go back and change let's change the original sketch So I'm gonna delete again these things and add um, other ones so it's gonna go this way let's add an arc it's gonna go this way and finish up here and everything updates nicely why because we run converted entities and it is on the whole face so in summary when you create a sketch if you know that you're gonna use the edges of the of the face simply draw your missing part of the contour so it can be a line, can be a sequence of lines, so I can do something like this. Let's say one, two, three, four, and I don't know, finish somewhere here. And then, even though this is an open contour, 
when you run the extrude boss command, pay attention to this arrow and the fact that you can reverse it. So I can go maybe the other way. Say yes, and SolidWorks is going to draw the other lines of the contours, but it's actually using a face entity type of conversion, not an edge entity type of conversion. That's why this works so well. Okay? So remember, don't uh, ignore the pop-ups that are coming from SOLIDWORKS. They are there for a reason to save you time and help you create reliable, robust models. Thank you very much.